Hey, I wonder how Akshan is doing top. Oh, overpowered. Well, I wonder how he's doing mid. Oh, overpowered. Well, I wonder what his ban rate is. Oh, very high. Well, I wonder what makes this extraordinarily overpowered champion just so broken. I wonder if it could be his nine trillion mechanics that I will discuss in this video. Before we begin, what I want to say is that Akshana is going to be compared to a lot of champions, and I know people will immediately say that he has differences from those champions, and I understand he has differences, but the point of this is by showing how many champions he steals from, how many mechanics he has, how powerful those mechanics has, how many things he does better than other champions, the point is to show how insanely overloaded this champion is, how truly this is the most overloaded, most broken champion ever ever added to League of Legends. Guys, I'm from the future when this video was finished. You don't want to watch it. You don't want to see what's inside. You'll never understand. Akshan's passive does so many different things. I can't really say what it does up front. While with most abilities, you can just say, oh, that's their X ability. With Akshan's passive, it does so many things. It's easier to just go into the four main things that it does. The most important thing Akshan's passive does is the double shot on auto attack. That is every auto attack, and the second shot applies full on hit damage. The second effect is it deals magic damage on a three hit passive. That does up to 175 damage at level 18. For reference, Jax's ultimate does 180 damage every three hits. It also gives movement speed if you cancel this second shot. It also gives a shield for some reason, I don't fucking know. And that's Akshan's passive, the double shot magic damage 3 hit movement speed shielding passive. Akshan's Q is just a boomerang, so hopefully this shouldn't be too complicated. It does not deal reduced damage per target hit, and it increases its range for each target hit. Why am I saying it like that? Because there have been rules established by boomerangs from a different champion that Akshan's boomerang just shits all over and allows him to harass people easily behind the minion wave, unlike a different boomerang. <laughs> hey, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. It helps me a lot. You don't have to, but it'd be a lot cooler if you did. Um, so it gives you very high movement speed each time it hits a champion and gives you a proc of its passive, so it's already high damage is augmented even further. And that's Akshan's Q, the boomerang that breaks the rules of other boomerangs, gives him more movement speed, although he already has movement speed, and helps him proc his passive, giving it extremely high damage for no reason. Guys, I swear to you, I edited this whole video, and then I realized at the end his Q had another effect I didn't even realize. I shit you not, look at this. His Q gives you vision! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Akshan's W I had to put into two different categories because with the passive and active it did so much that it was impossible to just talk about one thing. For the passive, that's the revive. He can literally revive allies, which is just absurd and okay. Adding revives to your stories is shitty. Death should mean something. This is really stupid to add to the lore. Dumb, dumb, dumb. But what a lot of people don't know is that he also gets a hundred gold for each scoundrel he kills. And even if the ally revives before he kills a scoundrel, he still has 60 seconds to kill them and get that 100 gold. He, he has a fucking revive and it was like, they were like, oh man, that's just not good enough. He's gonna need to get a hundred gold. I feel like I'm going insane reading this ability. Someone actually said to themselves, God damn, this motherfucker with a revive, not good enough. He's gonna need to get a hundred gold. Akshan's W gives him permanent camouflage while near terrain or in a brush. That means it will never end. Now, that's not stealth. If you go close to him, you can see him. He 
then also gets a Werewick style vision, a trail leading to every single scoundrel. That means if you're stealth, that means if you're hiding, he can see you. If you're in the fog of war, he can see you. He gets a trail leading exactly towards you. He doesn't get direct vision, but he can see you. Then in addition to that, he gets movement speed and bonus mana gen while moving towards you. Why, why did why did he need the mana regeneration? I, I I don't I don't even I don't even know about that one. To be honest, this ability is probably one of his coolest because it doesn't just add tankiness or power or damage, but it actually gives him like a thing, like he's the scoundrel hunter, right? But when you put this is the active of an ability that fucking generates gold and revives allies. I just I, I can't. I just what? Um. So um. So. This is a thing. It's a uh, max cooldown at max rank is a is a it's it's two seconds. So um, yeah. Okay, I tried to talk about this ability a few times, but I realized the only way I could talk about it was to split his heroic swing into two different parts. That's right, two different parts. So in part one, we're gonna talk about the fact that this is a gap closer with insane movement range. It can also be used as an escape move. Why? So shoots while swinging with 4.34 attack speed, which is a lot of attacks. It's shots scale on attack damage and attack speed, and that attack speed scaling includes attack speed per level. I thought that was relevant to add because some similar abilities don't scale on attack speed at all. Then, for no reason that I can think of, it procs on hit damage at 25% effectiveness, but it applies the passive magic damage at 100% effectiveness, procking it over one time per second. Continuing on to part two, this ability can also crit. It it can crit, I don't know why. It applies lifesteal at 100% value, just for some reason. And remember, on hit abilities, or I should say on hit effects from items, get lifesteal. It resets its cooldown on kill or assist, just because, and then it does another dash at the end with another shot, allowing you to uh, burst people that you get close into. This is an extremely powerful ability that scales on everything. It, it's just honestly one of the most powerful abilities in the game, and I, wow, I mean, just, Look at all of it. I mean, God, imagine if like any other gab closer or effect, imagine if like Yasuo's E, they were like, oh, it should scale its damage on attack speed, and uh, uh, also it should get life steal, and just, wow, just this ability, man. Frakshan's ultimate. This is an ability, much like another ability we've seen. It's a long range ultimate execute channel. It does up to 400% damage to low health targets. For some reason, once again, it applies life steal. I'm. I, I don't I don't why I don't know why it needs to have life steal. Who thought of this? You might try to hide behind a minion wave. Unfortunately, any minion hit is executed. They don't take damage. They just die immediately to the bullet. You thought there wasn't gonna be a part two. You thought, oh man, I bet this ability is reasonable, but you probably noticed that you can move while casting this ultimate, unlike a champion like, let's say, Caitlyn. In addition to getting the lifesteal I mentioned earlier, it can crit. I, I, I don't know why it can crit, but it can crit. And lastly, in addition to that, it gives you true sight of the target for the entire duration of it. One more thing! Actually, I lied. The last thing is it also applies his passive magic damage, so... Uh, I, I guess it just gets more damage and it gets magic damage. Cool. So this is the <gasps> Caitlyn slash Lucian ult that does magic damage, scaling with crit, executing minions, and also it gives life steal. You just you you life steal. That it just fucking life steals. Dead honest, fellas. I was originally gonna do a recap here at the end, just sort of going over all of it. But if you want to see that, go ahead and just replay this video because I guarantee you have missed something. This is the most overloaded champion I've ever seen. What Origini set out to do in maybe an hour or two, just sort of going over and poking fun at some of the abilities. 
This has taken me now five, six, maybe seven hours of editing. We, I, I think I might actually be up to seven hours of editing. Every time I went back and I looked at one of his abilities, it had another effect, another hidden power attached to it. Oh my god, this is the this is the most overloaded champion I've ever seen that that will ever. This, this is the editing. I, I I've never done anything like this. You guys have seen my other videos. They're edited and they are not even close to as difficult as this. So. You want to see it again? I guarantee, go go watch it again. Promise you. Promise you, you'll miss something. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here. Special thank you to all my Patreon supporters. The link is in the description. Patreon helps me do videos like this and other videos. It gives me steady income, whereas YouTube does often... Yeah, YouTube kind of does, but you can... I, I think you guys have seen with my DMCA video. You can lose that income pretty hard. So thank you all. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you to everybody else. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a comment below, and have a great rest of your day.